Good day everyone, hope you are well. Today we are going to look at the business plan. In a business plan, we are going to look at various different elements. A business plan, you always need to consider your timeline, competitor analysis, SWOT analysis, mission statements, marketing plan, product description, financial planning, very important, and operations concept of a business plan so it is a formal written plan that gives a detailed description of how a business is going to achieve its goals it is a document that gives detailed information on the business's finances and shows predictions of how much money the business aims to make it is a document which sets out all the details and arrangements for a new business venture it is a formal document that describes the future strategy and financial development of the business and usually covers a period of years. Right, so it also gives all of the information about the business that is needed to persuade people that the business is a good investment. A good investment is um, if they invest money in the business, they will be able to get interest or a share of business profits that makes it worthwhile making the investment in the first place. Right, so when talking about persuading people, we set up business plans for potential investors. We set up business plans if we want to borrow money from the bank or any financial institution so they can see, okay, if they invest money or borrow money to us, we have a good business plan and we should be able to pay them back the money that we borrowed. Right. The importance of a business plan. So it helps by in identifying what action needs to be taken to reach a particular objective or goal. Since you are planning for the future, you know what you need to do to achieve certain objectives and goals. Who would want to finance a badly run business? You can only imagine if you pitch up at a bank with an A4 exam pad piece of paper with a few scribbled plans of how you are going to achieve your objectives and goals. The bank's going to laugh at you because they're not going to think you're serious about your business compared to when you pitch up with a very, very impressive business plan um, typed and it is in a folder binded and um, you show up in a suit as well and you have a good idea. Your chances of getting finance from the bank um, will be much, much bigger. It helps in convincing people outside the business that the business has a good chance of succeeding. Remember, you want to um, convince your potential investors that your business will succeed. Otherwise, they're not going to invest in your business. It helps in anticipating problems and identifying ways around them to make it easier to take quick action when opportunities present themselves. So remember, you're planning for the future when setting up a business plan. So you think about potential problems and because of that, you also plan for potential solution to these problems even before they occur. So you are minimizing the chances of failure. Business plans are not only for new businesses, existing businesses may also use them when they want to change the nature of the business. Um, through business plans, application for loan from banks or financial assistance from government becomes easy, as I just explained. Exp Elements of a business plan. So, name of the business. The name must be clearly written and must have a link with the products the business would offer. If I have a carpentry business, no point in naming it Snayman's Chocolatiers. It will make a lot more sense naming my business Snayman Carpentry as that is the product that I offer. Location of the business. There are many different factors that influence why we place certain businesses in certain places. This is one of the most important decisions that an entrepreneur will need to make. Location is crucially important and will vary according to different influences. Entrepreneurs must ensure that they find the best location for their business. For example, if you want a lot of people visiting your business, then you're going to place your business in a mall. 
if it's not necessary to get a lot of feet in your business, for example, a bank, then it's not necessary to place it in a mall um, as people will come to your business dedicated for the service that you provide, financial services. Description of the product or service to be offered by the business. You need to provide a clear and a detailed description of your product or service. In doing this, you will also get more clarity on other things as well, such as details relating to raw materials, packaging and branding. In describing the product or service, it is important that you emphasize the value, the usefulness of the product or service you will be providing to your customers, the value and, and the benefits of using your products and services. Remember, you need to try and convince your customer that they absolutely need your product, even though it is not necessary for survival. Form of ownership. You will need to consider the following questions when making a decision which form of ownership to use. How many people will be involved with me in the business and want to share ownership? How much money do I need to start the business and do I need other people to help me raise this money? If you need other people, you're going to need to get some partners. Do I want to share the profits I make? Do I have all the skills I need to run the business myself? If not, you need to get partners with the necessary skills. Who is responsible for the debts made in the course of running this business? How big will my business be and what is the vision I have for this business? How does tax affect me in different forms of ownership? What will it cost me to establish a specific form of ownership? Will I need to access cash from my business for my own personal needs, drawings? Do I want to share responsibility for the business? And then goals of the business. Both short-term goals and long-term goals need to be indicated. Short-term, staff recruitment date, start-up production date, marketing activities, and days of opening the business. Long-term, upgrading the capital good in three years, employment of more staff members in two years and moving to a bigger location. For example, moving to a mall in three years. You get different type of businesses. You get service businesses, for example, a hairdresser where they only cut your hair and they provide a service. Retail businesses where they sell physical products to you and then manufacturing businesses where they produce something from scratch and sell you the final product. For example, a car manufacturer. Right, forms of ownership. Characteristics of a sole trader. Easy to form, no registration except a trading license. One owner, no separate legal status. Owner has unlimited liability. What they mean by that is if um, your business owes money to a to someone to the bank they can come off to your personal uh, assets so unlimited liability then characteristics of a partnership easy to form no registration except a trading license and a partnership agreement two owners to unlimited no separate legal status partners have unlimited liability so this means they can also come after your personal assets if you were to owe someone money and not being able to repay them. Characteristics of a close corporation. Characteristics easy to form, need to complete a founding statement. One to ten members has legal status separate from its owners. Members have limited liability name ends with cc and then a company the company must have a meeting every year to which all shareholders are invited an annual general meeting an agm major decisions of the directors are discussed at the agm and shareholders vote on them shareholders have limited liability a company has to pay tax on its profits as it is regarded as a legal person. What I mean by limited liability, if the business 
were to or the company were to owe someone money they cannot come after um, the owner's personal liabilities element of a business plan production plan a production plan mainly deals with the following aspects how the business will produce goods and services where it will buy materials what equipment and machinery is needed to produce the goods where can it buy raw materials and how can production be managed in a most effective way it outlines the total output that the manufacturing section is expected to produce the, man, the production plan should include names of possible suppliers, receiving procedures, processes of storing raw materials, quality control, byproducts, and how they will be managed. Marketing plan. This is very important. As I always say, people are not going to buy a product if they don't know about it. Right, so in a marketing plan, a marketing plan usually deals with questions such as, who will buy the products or goods and services produced and how many people will want to product or service where will the business sell its products is the business situated in a place where there will be many potential buyers what can be done to attract customers marketing plan mainly deals with how the business will be marketing its goods and services to the public Businesses use the marketing plan in their business plan to explain how they plan to get people to buy their products or goods. Marketing plans should include the following. Marketing aims of the business. What benefit will the consumers get from buying the goods or services? Details on the market research done. Information about possible competitors and measures of how you plan to stay ahead of them. The marketing plan builds on your market analysis. This section outlines where your business fits into the market and how you will price, promote and sell your product or service. More marketers talk about the four P's of marketing, product, price, promotion and place. This is a helpful way to remember the areas you need to cover when you plan the marketing of any product or service the initial plan should cover one year later on you can create a plan that addresses the medium term or two to four years in the future you cannot do a marketing plan without getting many people involved no matter what size the business is you need to draw information from all parts of the business for example finance manufacturing and personnel this is important because it will take everyone in a business to make your marketing plan work key people can provide input um, on what is achievable and how goals can be reached they can share ideas they may have on potential marketing opportunities adding another aspect to your plan if your business is small and you are the only manager you will have to take on all these roles at the same time marketing mix the four p's product price place and promotion in product what product or service will be sold price at what price will the product or service be sold place where will the product or service be sold and promotion how will the product or service be sold right so a swot analysis swot analysis stands for strength weaknesses opportunities and threats of your business ideas involving finding out the strengths and weaknesses of each of your business ideas and what opportunities and threats may exist in the environment this analysis looks at both the internal and the external factors that may influence the business ability to compete in the market the strong and the weak points are internal aspects that the entrepreneur can control whereas the opportunities and threats are external factors over which he or she has no or limited control to do a SWOT analysis of your business ideas you must have a good understanding of what each business idea involves 
Right, so for example, for strengths and weaknesses, you have to look inside your intended business for things that you can control. Strength, all the things that you or your business are good at. For example, a unique product, ideal location of the business, previous experience in the line of business, good managerial or accounting skills, high level of productivity and low costs. Weaknesses, all the things that you or your business are not good at. For example, no previous experience in line of business, lack of sufficient funds, lack of managerial skills, higher costs than the competition, okay, and then opportunities. These incidents, events or circumstances outside the business that can be used for profits or or which will be good for your business. For example, few competitors, consumers not happy with existing products of competitors, good supply of skilled labor in the community, a good supply of raw materials, threats, the things outside the business that will be bad for your business or which may affect the functioning of the business negatively. For example, new competitors, move into the area. Competitors use a new technology, a shortage of skilled labor in the area, increase personal taxes by the government. For opportunities and threats, you have to look outside your intended business for things that you cannot control. Right, so very importantly, strengths and weaknesses, internal opportunities and threats are external. Right, financial plan. The financial plan, we are going to look at the following. The financial section of your business plan should um, contain the details of financing the business immediately, as well as what will be needed for future growth over the next three years. In other words, when you start your business, where are you going to get your startup capital? Is it money that you saved or are you going to go and get a loan? It must indicate estimates of initial and future operating expenses. Many business owners believe that the financial plan details plays a key role in getting capital from investors and banks. Financial details are important and can give a clear indication of profits and expenses. However, realistic expectations are needed for proper forecasting. For all businesses, the cash flow is vital to the plan. Profitable businesses can run out of cash and be able, unable to repay their loans as agreed. This could lead to the failure of the business through bankruptcy. When a business has to stop operating because it cannot pay money it owes. The financial plan also needs to give information about the following. Fixed and variable cost, break even point, markup on sales and profit percentage. Types of financial plans, short term, medium term, long term. In a short term financial plan, we will look at a time period of more or less one year, well, one year max. Looks after working capital needs to needs of the company. Then medium term financial plan, time period of one to five years, looks after replacement and maintenance of assets research and development etc then a long-term plan the time period is more than five years looks after long-term objectives of the company capital structure expansion activities etc right break even point we will calculate that by putting our fixed costs over our profit margin per product we calculate profit margin by selling price per unit and then deducting variable costs per unit. Right, break even point. Break even point refers to the point at which the income and expenses of a business are equal. So no profit is made or loss is experienced. For the purposes of a business plan, it is important to calculate the points at which a business will break even and begin to generate a profit and additional cash flow. Mark up on sales. Before you can decide on selling price, 
you need to find out about what is happening in the marketplace. An entrepreneur should always check on prices charged for similar items by competitors in the area. No point in overcharging, then your customer are rather going to support your competitor. You always need to know the attitude of consumers regarding the value of a product and its price. Profit percentage. Adding a percentage profit on the cost of a product is the simplest way to set a selling price. For example, a shoe shop buys a certain make of shoe at 100 Rand per pair from a manufacturer. The shop owner has worked out that the cover overhead and make reasonable profits, he needs to add 50% on the cost price. So the selling price will be 100 Rand cost price plus 50 Rand um, profit margin. So the selling price will be 150 Rand. Remember what I was telling you in class? Selling price equals cost price plus profit margin. Right, so fixed costs are the expenses that cannot be directly linked to any specific goods produced but which are essential for the running of the business. Fixed costs remain the same regardless of the output of the business. Examples include rent, short-term insurance and interest payments on loans. In order to share all the fixed costs of the business between the products being offered, you need to know how many goods you are likely to sell in a certain period of time, usually one month. Right, so your fixed cost will not change. Doesn't matter how much products you produce. Your fixed cost or your rent of the factory, for example, will still stay the same whether you are selling 100 items or if you are selling 1,000 items. Fixed cost, marginal cost. Marginal cost is equal selling price per unit, less variable cost per unit. Right, variable costs are the costs that are directly linked to the production process. Variable costs will vary, change, and will depend on the number of items you are planning to produce. Examples of variable costs will be raw materials and factory workers' wages. So the more you produce, the more items you produce, the more raw materials you are going to use, and the more expensive it will become. Right. Hope this was helpful and that you understand a business plan. Have a very good day.